Now, the area's most accurate weather forecast with Storm Search 7 meteorologist Ryan James. Good Friday evening to you. Temperatures climbed well into the 90s, some spots even near 100 this afternoon, but we are going to cool off a little bit tomorrow, even more so as we head through the day on Sunday. Take a look at our school net sites. Temperatures are generally sitting down in a mixture of 90s. It is warm out there. 95 right now at Barnes Jewelry, 94 at Humphreys Highland, and 93 degrees at Carver Elementary Academy. On the south side of town, Canyon Hills Church of Christ, 92 degrees, 93 at Tradewind Elementary, 94 at Bonham. Across the northwestern parts of the the High Plains, Channing at 94 degrees, 94 also in Yarborough, and 90 up in Boise City. Across the northeastern Panhandle, Groover Junior High at 96 degrees, not to be outdone. Guyman at 97. 89 though at Camp MK Brown, same thing in La Fours, a little bit more moisture across the far eastern Panhandle, helping keep temperatures down a bit. 92 degrees in Shamrock, 94 right now in Childress, Valley at 92 on top of the Cap Rock. It's no cooler, 93 degrees in Silverton. Back toward the west and southwest at Nazareth at 93, 93 also in in Tucum Carry and 93 degrees at Vega High School, where the frost point temperature is 16, relative humidity a paltry 6%. Southwest wind currently between 15 and 25 miles an hour. There is the annular ring of fire eclipse coming up. I wanted to give you some information on it. Check it out. We have, for the most part, the best opportunity to see this is going to be a little bit farther toward the south. From pretty much Lubbock to Clovis, then over toward Albuquerque is where the best viewing is going to be. Here in Amarillo, we're going to see almost a total eclipse. Now, with this, the ring of fire eclipse means the sun is not going to be completely blocked out. But as we head through about, say, 730 Sunday evening, we'll start to see the partial eclipse. The eclipse will peak between 830 and 838, right before the sun sets. And as it does set, of course, we're going to see that eclipse go below the horizon. It's going to move off to the west as the Earth rotates around. But this is what it's going to look like. In case you are wondering, we're going to have the edge of the sun still visible with the moon kind of passing in front. That's why they call it the ring of fire eclipse. Now, you are still looking at the sun if you go to view this, which means you can damage your eyes. It is highly unadvisable to look at it straight with your eyes or even with a pair of sunglasses. If you want to do it right, do it with some welder glasses, but uh, that's about the best opportunity you have. But try not to look at it directly, or at least if you're going to look at it, you know, take a look, then just look away and say, okay, that was cool. But uh, it'll take place pretty much sunset as we head into Sunday evening. But Please be extremely careful. Take a look at the regional radar satellite combination. Upper level disturbance back to the west, generating a few clouds for us. Those clouds are going to spread across the area tonight. Just a veil of mid and high clouds around, though. 93 degrees at the airport in Amarillo, 88 in Dallas. Let's take a look at what happens overnight tonight and during the day tomorrow as well. Dry line in the eastern parts of the high plains sets up in the central part of the uh, panhandle by first thing tomorrow morning. 56 degrees, southwest wind at 15 to 25 miles an hour. 80 at the lunch hour, and by the afternoon, here comes the cold front dropping south along the dry line along the cold front there might be a few thunderstorms some of those could be severe in the eastern panhandle 86 for the high the wind will be shifting toward the north as that cold front does blow by the cold front pushes even farther south so by sunday there could be a few isolated to widely scattered showers and storms but by sunday evening things look fairly good for seeing that eclipse maybe a few thunderstorms off the mountains of new mexico back toward the northwest 74 for the high on sunday take a look at the forecast as we head through the night tonight with a few mid high clouds around temperatures cooling back into the low 50s to even low 60s. About 56 to 57 in Amarillo and Canyon for tonight with a few high clouds around. South-southwest wind at 15 to 25 miles an hour. Late tomorrow, that wind shift, wind shift line, the cold front, will make its way through the area, so the winds will shift around to the north, but it's still going to be a pretty hot day across southern parts of the high plains, upper 80s to near 90. Farther north, more like upper 70s to near 80. But that chance for a few thunderstorms in the eastern panhandle, some of those could be strong to severe, so keep it tuned to Storm Search 7 tomorrow afternoon. If need be, we'll definitely keep you posted on that possibility of severe weather. But cooler on Sunday, and then we'll see temperatures heat back up middle part of next week. All right, sounds good. And the good. Johnny Cash Eclipse. Johnny, the ring of fire. The ring of but fire. You. <laughs> <laughs> Thank nice. you. I can't even do that. That was good. That yeah. was good. <laughs> Our photo of the day was taken earlier this week when day breaks. Meredith Keller and Chief Meteorologist Steve Kirsch got to eat some crickets. Yummy. Courtesy of Mike Bowley from the Amarillo Zoo. Oh, it does not look good. Upload your photos to Pro News 7's Facebook page or check out connectamarillo.com. Those two might need some medical breakthroughs after doing that. <laughs> Stay with us. <laughs>